And when you think about what humans have done in exploration, in the building block approach in a stepwise fashion, we've gone from Mercury, which was able to put a single person into space and bring them back the same day, through Gemini, which put two people into space to stay in orbit for a few days, to work out the maneuvers required to go to the moon, which Apollo then leveraged with three people going to the surface of the moon, being able to stay for a short time and come home. The next logical progression was let's go into space and stay. That's what we did on Space Shuttle with the space station. We put people permanently in low Earth orbit. The next logical step is to put humans on other celestial bodies in a semi-permanent fashion where they can exploit our ability to be there and explore, the, for instance, the surface of a moon or, or an asteroid and the things that come along with that. So a um, number of missions are opened up by a, cap a simple infrastructure capability that is as large as a heavy lift vehicle. So Liberty answers the call for a, uh, a high-performing, low-cost means of uh, continuing to provide access for humans to low Earth orbit, including uh, principally the space station after the retirement of the shuttle. And it takes advantage of a concept of synergy with both the shuttle and its assets that are left over and the, the future heavy launch vehicle uh, for deep space exploration, which would also leverage those leftover capabilities and technologies from shuttle, and it and it gets you a twofer. In other words, you have systems like this booster that are going to be on a heavy lift vehicle. Let's put it on a crew vehicle as well, and marry it up to components that exist so that you rapidly accelerate the uh, ability to perform those kind of missions. So we are very nimble and very poised to be able to, to perform in an extremely cost-effective manner. As an example, we're able to deliver this booster, uh, which includes all of, the, of its recovery systems, the nozzle on the aft end, uh, for a lower cost than shuttle used to have to um, budget for just the propulsion segments in the middle. So we're really making strides in, in per improving our, our effectiveness. The vast majority of people believe we should be leaders in space, able to do things that only we know how to do and demonstrate our ability to truly explore and, and leverage the results of that exploration into the new technologies that come back to everyday life here on the planet.